Hello, Swift friends! It's Prof G, and it's time to build another app! Now, in our first app, we built the You Are Awesome app, which was an app to remind you how utterly fantastic you are. Yay! But now, let's work on feeling good by getting out some of that latent aggression. Because you know, perhaps you have a nemesis. Many people do. Taylor Swift, no relation to our programming language. She's got Kanye. Beyonce? has Becky with the good hair. And Drake has, well, just about everybody. But unless you're fighting evil like Yoda or Harry Potter, you can't go around getting physical with your beefs. So enter the new app we're gonna build together, Bip the Guy. In Bip the Guy, we have a default image. You can use whichever image you'd like. I figure one of the least controversial things to Bip would be a clown. So the clown emoji is standing in as the conduit for our aggression. Now by building this app, you'll learn to use the tap gesture recognizer on an image creating a basic pulsing animation, and you can say, Stop! Beeping! Me! Out! Feels good, but it gets better. Bip the guy lets you select an image that you really think deserves a thump. You'll learn to use the UI Image Picker controller to grab images from the photo library or camera. As I write this, the leading worldwide villain is the coronavirus! That's how I beat the pandemic! And of course, you can use your camera. So let's start up the camera on my phone here. This is my actual iPhone, and what should we take a picture of? Oh, look, it's Thanos. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes your glove. Here's how we snap back, Stonebeard. Oh, Iron Man could have used that. So we'll be learning a lot building this app. It's a fun app, but we'll continue to cover important concepts in computer science and iOS development. We'll start out with a demonstration project to learn some basic UI view animations in Swift, but we'll leverage what we learned there to quickly build our app. Big learning ahead. Let's code.